Iggy Azalea. Yeah, she's back. Apparently, she came back. And her big thing now is she's going to be on OnlyFans now. That, that's that's going to be her little thing, being on OnlyFans. I, you know, this just come to show you right here that this woman is still trying to remain relevant. And this woman still can't get over the fact that her career is pretty much done for. Like, if you remember back in... Like, in, back in 2014, this woman was all over the place. This woman was, like, being hyped up by the mainstream, playing on hit radios. Was, you know, I think she won some awards in 2014. Some people even were calling her, like, oh, she's going to defeat Nicki Minaj and overthrow Nicki. And she's going to become the next queen of hip-hop. She's going to take over Nicki Minaj's spot as the most selling, number one selling female rapper out there. Nicki Minaj is, is the old shit. Iggy Azalea is the new shit. Iggy Azalea is going to take over the world. And she's going to do this. She's going to do that. Blah, 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 blah. And I even said that come by the end of 2014, by near the end of 2014, people are going to turn their back on her. And they're going to be saying, wow, what a piece of crap rapper she is. She's really not a good lyricist. She can't make no good music. All of her music is all the same. I got a big ass, I got a nice look, nice hair, look at my money, my clothes, I'm a bad bitch, I have a lot of attitude and all that. That's exactly what Iggy Azalea is at the end of the day. She's no different than Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and all these other female rappers before her time and during her time and after her time that always be rapping about their high heel shoes on and their Chanel and their Victoria's Secret lingerie and bra and panties or whatever the hell and their oh I got the nice cologne uh, perfume on and oh I got nice deodorant like I don't want to hear that I don't care about your funky ass deodorant I don't really give a rat's ass about that you know what I'm saying but now Iggy Azalea like, she came out with so many comebacks. She did one, I think, around, like, 2015, 2016. Then she did it again in 2017 or 18, around there, where she did that song with Tyga called Cream, which nobody really seemed to care about that song, but that was supposed to be Iggy's big, big comeback. She made a comeback with Lil Uzi Vert, when Lil Uzi Vert was, like, the hot new thing at the time for, like, five days. And, you know, she tried to come back a lot of times, a lot of times. Now this is her, this is her recent little comeback. Now she's trying to be like, I'm on OnlyFans now, guys. I don't know how much this woman is going to be charging for, but like I heard that she's a mother now, right? Isn't she a mother? Why is these women going online on OnlyFans, knowing they have fucking kids out there doing? You know, they have kids, they have children, and eventually their children are gonna grow up. And they're gonna see their mothers on there doing stupid things. I don't know, man. I mean, this woman has a big ego, thinking that she's gonna really go on OnlyFans looking like this. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, that's what Iggy Azalea looks like without makeup. Like, again, look, look, look at, look, look. This woman right here really do believe in her own little mind that she is more than worthy of being on OnlyFans. Who in the blue hell in 2023 now is going to say, hey, you know what? We need Iggy Azalea to be on OnlyFans. That's the woman we need to see out of any type of woman you can think of that's a celebrity. We need Iggy Azalea. That's the must-see person. Who really is listening to Iggy Azalea? Who's following her? Who takes her ass seriously? The only people who take Iggy Azalea seriously and probably still listen to her music is people who don't really understand what good music is. Because, again, this woman is shit. What's she going to do on there? What, twerk? What, recite a bunch of dumbass rhymes to you? Or is she going to freestyle? Is that sexy to you? You think this is sexy and attractive? Get out of here, you hack! Oh my god, she's over there doing horrible ass freestyle. I'm gonna jerk off to it. <coughs> Come on, man. Really gonna jerk off to Iggy Azalea. 
Again, a woman that looks like this. Can't rap, can't sing, can't do nothing. But you guys think, oh, because she has a nice ass, which is fake. You think that's gonna... I don't know, man. I don't know how well this is gonna go. Somebody told me about this, and i seen it trending on Twitter. I'm surprised I'm even still on Twitter. I'm thinking about shutting Twitter down. Because, again, I gotta look at Iggy Azalea being recommended for me to look at. And, you know, people talk to me about Iggy Azalea as if TG Venom gives a rat's ass about Iggy Azalea. That, that girl is nothing. She's old news. Take that chick back to 2014 to the Australian Outback House or something. Shoot. I don't want to see no Iggy Azalea all hype. She, her hype was already dead a long time ago. When she first came out and blew up, that's when her hype died right there. This whole white girl rapper thing, please. Just because she's a white female rapper and there's not a lot of those going on around here still to this very day, that doesn't mean that Iggy Azalea is something worth it. She's so amazing. She's the sexiest woman on the planet. Give me a fucking break. And who's going to pay money to see this woman? I wouldn't pay money to hear her rap or sing or anything or do music. I don't want to pay money to, to see her do nothing on OnlyFans. And if you're going to do that, then you're a moron. You're a complete inept idiot.